Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Diablo. I am his usual Largo please and it is time to explore Tristram. I warn you already, this series where I am playing Diablo, the original one of course, and as you can see I am an, uh, I'm a rogue here, uh, it is very volatile. Uh, my um, methods of recording isn't uh, particularly steady. So it might be a bit messy with colors and such, but hopefully I will figure out how to get it to work. For example, every time I cancel fraps, my f colors are all messed up, but hopefully you will not see that. And every time I start recording, there is a chance of everything just breaking down, and uh, that makes me want to hurt myself. But I finally got it to work, it was a hassle. So, well, here we are, and uh, I decided to not start trapping while creating the character. Uh, I'm not taking any chances here, and uh, oh, I have trap disarm skill, oh yeah, and uh, let's see, where is it? There we go. Shouldn't be a character screen, this is Mia, my name is Vinny, I'm rogue level 1, and I have 100 gold and a bow. So, let's dive right into this, shall we? We have Griswold here, well, I'm not going to take the time to talk to everybody and listen to all conversations, because that takes a while. Uh, but of course I have to talk to Kane. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Poor Farnham. He is a disquieting reminder of the doomed assembly that entered into the cathedral with Lazarus on that dark day. He escaped with his life, but his courage and much of his sanity were left in some dark pit. He finds comfort only at the bottom of his tankard nowadays. But there are occasional bits of truth buried within his constant ramblings. Okay, so basically... It says that if you go down there and survive, you're becoming insane. Oh, hello, Grizzle. Just has to say, have to wow. say hello. What can I do for what you? Can I do for you? <laughs> Nothing right now, because I'm pretty damn broke. I will actually go and get myself some health posts because that is always what neat ails you, my friend? Uh, buy items, let's get two of them. There we go! And it's time to venture down uh, into the Cathedral of Tristram. And <laughs> one thing that is actually very beautiful, the only indication that I'm recording is a window on my second screen, which is all messed up uh, <laughs> in the colors. And no, no butcher, how sad. I have the um, quest uh, with the poison well at, at least. So down to the dungeon, let's go. Are we ready for this? Let's put in the save game here. Ah, I can save at least. That's neat. Something's moving. Something's moving. Yeah, taste my boy boss. It's fallen one. He's not particularly fallen yet. There we go. Hello. Anybody here? Oh, cl cloak. Magical cloak. Die! Scum! Oh, we have so much money in the cloaks there as well. What is it that I am missing from uh, Diablo 2 and Diablo 3? Well, I cannot press alt and see everything on the ground. Oh, stuff of 5 volts. I might actually get a decent amount of money from that one. That is something that we need. Ooh, crap! I am a monster dodging things. And it's interesting that I'm killing skeletons by shooting... Oh, look at this man. Uh, by shooting on the shield, and they die. That's quite interesting. Some potions there as well. I will probably sell them, because I'm not uh, really a sorcerer. No, I'm not. I'm not. And yes, I will go into that room down there. I just want to grab some things here. Closed door. Well, not anymore. Let's stand in the doorway here. Fire in and hope for the best. That is my overall strategy in this game. Stand in the doorway, hope for the best. Maybe cry a little. And it seems to work so far. They are dying, they are dying, and you will die as well. Die! So, there we go. No, not... There we go, they are all dead. The sacred shrine, let's see what that does. I love these shrines because you never know what to get. Uh, let's... No, where is it? Let's see. Let's see, stats is like that. Okay, let's see here. Energy comes at the cost of wisdom. Ah, 
Could I get a spell, maybe? I think I did. But the stuff of healing as well. How good. How neat. How lovely. Hello. Scavenger. Or as I used to refer to them, cat. I'm not really sure. Um, I, I want to see them as a cat. Uh, what do you got the the pit fiends? Are that the name? No, the the things that um, spits acid further down. I was always uh, used to refer to them as dogs. So there are dogs and there are cats. Uh, so basically, it's raining cats and dogs. Oh yeah. Skeletons. Oh, level up! I have a level. Uh, so, if you haven't played this game and just uh, watch some uh, Diablo 3, this is something that is new to you. You can actually choose your stats. But in Diablo, that is actually the only thing you can choose. And, um, let's see, where's the inventory? There it is. I'll actually use this one. I'll identify this later on. Um,. Probably need some strength later on, but um, now I'm actually going with the dexterity because that uh, increases my chance to hit and it also, I think, it increases my damage. And uh, the stronger bows requires more dexterity, so that is the reason. Oh, mother of zombies! More scavengers and more fallen ones. Come here! Come here! Don't run away from me, you bastard! So yes, this is how Diablo started. This is the first game, the original, and it is a masterpiece. Of course, not the first game of its kind. Uh, if you've played Nox, you know what I mean. Maybe some other games before that as well, I'm not really sure. But uh, this is uh, what got me into this um, hack and slash type of games. And it is still very fun. It's still quite hard, actually. Even though I pretty much know how to play it um, decently. Especially if you play single player or you have no idea what you will get, what kind of items you will get. You do not, uh, for example, if you're a sorcerer, you do not gain levels uh, as in Diablo 2 or 3. We gain skills. No. Your, uh, your spells are coming from books and if you do not find any books, you're screwed. Uh, well, maybe not, but uh, the game will be very, very difficult at least. Hello! Oh, this is level 2. I'm not going down there because I will explore this level very, very thoroughly. Because I want items, I want money, and I want at least some hope as well. That would be very, very nice. And a uh, small chest! Oh, yes. No, that's not bad on. I'm so used to having B as my inventory. Um, both from World of Warcraft and I actually find that in Diablo 3 as well. So that's uh, where I'm going, but that's not right. Uh, the I key, of course, it should be an I for I in inventory. Chai! Yes! And this bow, even though it's not particularly good, still fires at a decent rate. Um, and of course, that's more to do with uh, me being a rogue rather than having a good bow. And one thing that's actually very interesting is that if you want to break barrels. If I have a sword, I will move up and uh, strike them, of course, but uh, here I have to actually run up to them and then fire. You cannot do it at range. And all kinds of different uh, evil things can be found in the barrels as well. And uh, when I was a little playing this game, I was completely sure that if I killed four barrels in a certain level... Oh, shortbow. Shortbow! 1 to 4, 1 to 4, it's actually worse than what I have. So, well, we can keep it and sell it. Because we need gold, we need items. Oh, yes. Uh, what was it? Yeah, I thought. Uh, ooh, level up. Do that quite soon. Yeah, I thought that if you broke all items, uh, breakable items, you will actually gain some kind of secret. And, um, I didn't find anything. I don't really think there is. Let's go with more dexterity! Oh yes! I actually do not get any more damage so far, but I get more hit rating, and that's always nice. And there are so many! There are so many! And oh, zombies! There are so oh, mama! And in this game, you cannot run, you walk. 
Uh, if you have Hellfire, the uh, kind of sort of unofficial inof expansion pack for Diablo, uh, actually developed by Sierra Online. No, not online. Sierra, without online. I think that was company. Uh, they developed an expansion to this uh, called Hellfire, which is quite nice. You get uh, some extra classes. Uh, one class is Monk, uh, and the well, Monk has a beautiful skill. Uh, which basically you use it and uh, you will uh, get a uh, kind of immune uh, illumination around items which means that you can actually find them on the ground with easier than very very neat uh, you can also unlock some kind of uh, berserker it's actually just this little lady but she's focused on using uh, melee weapons and you can actually duel with with her so that's neat I should probably have explored right there earlier on, but that's alright. I will actually go back to town before going down to the two, so that's alright. We're doing fine. I should probably save. You will save quite a lot in this game. You want to do that because if you die, you're dead. You will, you will have to load. It's not like in Diablo 2 or Diablo 3 where you just respawn. It's not like in um, but but it's not like. Diablo 2 or 3 hardcore either because you can save and if you die you can reload. But basically if you die, you're dead. And have to reload, so it will not let you continue from where you were. You have to. Well well if you haven't saved at all you will have to restart. Basically. Oh weapon. What did I get actually? Oh a falchion, I think that's how it's uh, pronounced. This uh, I want to talk about a beautiful memory of Diablo that I actually have. Uh, the first time I saw this game, I didn't have it. Let's get rid of anymore. that. Let's get rid of this. I think that will grant me more money. Money is good. Yeah, my, my uh, one. I think it might be. I think it's my earliest memory. Of Diablo. I had a friend who actually got this game uh, on uh, some questionable ways. Which meant that he didn't have the music, so when I actually bought the game and uh, could uh, hear the music, I was stunned because it's beautiful. I really love the music. And uh, he f actually found one of these, uh, Falchion. Something like that. Falchion. A sword. There we go. And as you can see, it's red. And that is because it uh, requires 30 strength. I do not have that. So far so good, but uh, we weren't particularly old. What was it? 10 maybe? And... Uh, well, I, I think I was... I must have been older than that. Not by much. And uh, he was actually younger me, and uh, was... Uh, our English wasn't as good as it is now. Because we were younger, and... Uh, uh, we weren't really that observant, so... So we didn't see that, so we thought, oh, it's, it's a red blade! Oh my god, it must be so awesome! It probably means that it's beautiful and magic and awesome, and uh, we were wrong. Very wrong. But still, that is the kind of memories. Let's just check out. You can actually move the map around uh, with the uh, keys, with arrows on the keyboard. And um, that is memories. <laughs> I think it's, of course, it's more fun to me than to you, because, well, it's my memory. You should probably leave it alone, but uh, it's um, it's a nostalgic trip there for me. That I want to share, and uh, I should probably look at the time when I started recording. That's uh, uh, would of course be good to have some kind of idea of what's going on. And also, I might warn you already because I have had this trouble earlier on when I recording with Fraps in uh, when I was playing uh, Wizardry Eight. Sometimes the sound is desynced, and by sound I mean uh, my speech. The game is alright, but my speech either lags behind or jumps forward. Uh, just a t tiny, tiny bit every time Fraps creates a new file, a movie file. But still, it's a bit annoying, so hopefully it will not happen. I uh, will see if it happens with this video. Does I will actually try to fix that. 
I have the next video that is. So we are back in town, and you might wonder, well, how do we identify? Well, you can either have you use scrolls or you visit Kane, the Elder. Hello, my you can friend. identify items. We have a cloak here. Listen. 100 gold, let's identify it. Attackers take 1, 2, 3 damage. So, should I put that to use? Yes, I think I should I have to repair it as well. So, hello. Let's repair oh, that. What can I do one. for you? Let's repair the short bow we are using. Let's sell some items as well. And of course, you cannot sell everything to everybody because, well, what kind of game would that be? Let's just switch to this way here as well. And uh, full healing is exactly what it sounds like. You gain full health, while potion of healing just brings you up a bit. I'm not really sure how it works, but it works. And over here, if you have watched my earlier videos, you will find something that uh, should be a bit familiar. So there's hats over here. And, uh, well, here we have Aja the Witch. Come on. I sense a soul this in is search actually Leia's mother, apparently. Not sell the potion of healing, because I want to keep them. And she sells um, all kind of crap. And I will actually get myself one scroll of town portal, because... Yeah, you want them. And let's see if um, Grizz will actually have something that we can use. That would be lovely. Oh, so lovely. Uh, perhaps a stronger bow, I would really appreciate that. And uh, yes, hello, sir. Um, oh, what can I do for you? By, let's look at this premium. Our premium items are basically. Well, magic items. This is that. Um, let's see, short, short. No, I'm not really going with that one. Short bow, hunter's bow. Long bow actually creates some strength, but we need to get that as well. Good to know. A red dagger of skills. A lot of dexterity on that one, but uh, nope. Nothing for us right now. So we continue on down. And if you look at the stats here, I only have 20 strength, and I'll actually get that up. Because strength is required for armor. So, magic is not something I will raise at all, because I am too awesome to do that. I will go with the, some strength, a lot of dexterity, and some vitality, because I don't want to die. And let's just save to be safe. And we're going down once again. And it is time to enter level 2. Of this dungeon. I think there are 16 levels or something like that, with some semi-levels as well. Every once in a while. Oh, there we go. Down to level 2. I think. Yeah, we are ready for this. Oh, yes. Let's go over here, save, and go down. And loading, 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 loading. Yeah, and we are here. What did I see? Oh, of course. I bought the town portal, and now I've found one. But it is not a problem at all. Oops! Run, 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 run! Get away from me! And yeah, the kiting <laughs> abilities are, well, lacking, to say the least. Uh, luckily for me, I'm just that good at this game. Hello. And I didn't know, I don't know if you saw that, but you can see total kills down there. If you kill a lot of uh, one kind of enemy, you will actually get some extra information. And let's go with the strength here, but that means I can use a longbow if I so desire, and if I find one. Apparently I cannot use a morning star because they require 26 in strength. Ain't that annoying? Okay, so... Should I go up? Or in here? Let's go in here. I'm already over here, so I might as well. Here you can see. Uh, total kill is 16, immune to magic. And you cannot... Um, <laughs> just hold the button down when targeting something, you actually have to click to shoot. If you hold it down, you shoot one arrow, and that's it. You actually have to click. And here we are, have a level 3 as well, but as I said earlier, I will explore. I want items, I want to level, I want to be awesome. And what? Oh, just gold! Yes! And this is the most beautiful thing of this game. The fire. I really think it's... Uh, still... It is quite awesome. 
And remember, this this game is old. This is old school gaming, kind of sort of. Not old as in Atari or something like that, but still. PC game. I'm not really sure. Let's see. I actually have the box here, so just give me a second. Let's see if it says when it was released. Uh, one in 1996, I think. Get away from me. Uh, something like that. And uh, <laughs> the requirements: you need to have a process processor of 60 megahertz or 8 megabytes RAM or more. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh my, they are many right now. Let's run, 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 run. There we go. Get myself a bit of room. Uh, something that is very good for me is that uh, most enemies do not hunt me relentlessly. They will actually run around in circles and look stupid. Oh, actually, let's grab one of these and I am at full health and now we save. Die. Die. Oh, gold. Gold is the only thing that's actually quite easy to find on the floor because it's big and bright. Everything else, especially rings and amulets, you really need to listen because you hear when they fall, but you do not see them, so you will know approximately where they actually dropped, and then you'll have to go there and uh, look around uh, with the mouse cursor because if you, you know hover over it, you will see it. But uh, the outline of it isn't visible unless you do that, so it's a bit of a mess. But of course, uh, they fixed that in Diablo 2 and in Diablo 3 as well, of course. To uh, be able to see the labels on the ground. I really think that's neat. It shouldn't be a hassle. Um, I do not mind to have it difficult to find items. That is in Diablo and Diablo 2 and of course in Diablo 3 as well. But the difficulty shouldn't be finding them on the floor, it should be finding him at all. And here we have a trapped... Uh, what are we called? Sarcophagus, that is the word, and there we have some lag as well, so let's use our skill here. Oh yes. So it was trapped and spawned a skeleton. <laughs> that, that isn't fair. And how am I doing? Oh, I have over 1000 gold, I'm getting richer. One more thing that's actually very annoying as well is that uh, gold actually takes up room in your inventory and it doesn't really stack. It stacks up to 5,000. And that's it. Uh, when I have 5,000 it will actually start a new stack so... And you gain a decent amount of money later on so you, you will have gold everywhere. Oh, something's up there. Let's, should I get some more strength? Actually, I think I should. Yeah, let's do that. We'll unlock some more armors for us as well, and uh, yeah, I want that. Hello. Please die. Oh, mama. Die. Die. He says uh, with his manly voice. Yes! Beautiful, beautiful gold. Let's look around, let's see what you can find. This big hallway here. Fiends, we have uh, Devil Kin, which refuses to die. Please die, there we go. Uh, let's see if we can find something up here. No, nothing. I would like to go down here and a uh, complete circle because if that is um, possible. It's nice to that's done. Oh, mm. another scroll. Jump portal. That is neat because that actually saves me a lot of money because 200 gold to buy. And now I have four. Huh. Oops. Well, shouldn't complain. It's always nice to have. I never use them eventually, so yeah, let's put in the savior as well. And uh, even more crap to open. And it seems to me that might not be circle around. 
Let's grab that one, let's poke in here. Kill these guys. Hello. Yeah, I've got something for you. Arrows. That is what they have called, and they kill you. Oh, a room. Nice. Uh, and something that you might have noticed is that uh, when I actually switch armor, you will not see any kind of change. Uh, not yet, anyways. There are three different looks in Diablo for uh, each class. And the class is, of course, Fighter, Rogue, and Soldier. And um, it's basically like this. I have this. Uh, this is how I look. This is the original one when you're at level one. And oh crap! Uh, Solpus. I hope he's proud of his name. Well, I can hurt him. That's good. Get over here. Oh, don't get over here. Stay over there because I have to kill some of my fiends here. Yeah, I have this look. Then you have uh, one look that is more awesome. Which you get from some armors, and then finally you have the even more awesome look later on. Some magic resistance, no immunities, that's good. Let's see, what did he do? He dropped something, a blade. I want, want a blade, I want to... S Ooh, run! I want a bow. I didn't really ask much, do I? I don't think so. So yeah, this skeleton is going down, let's see... Maybe I can get some money from this at least. And I really have to backtrack to go down there later on. Because I want to explore everything here. Especially in the beginning. It's, but it's not... It's important. It's, it's not necessary, but... Um, it's important to, you know, advance your character in a decent way. Uh, I could probably just move on to level 3 right now if I so desire. But I, I don't. I know, I'm enjoying this game. I don't want to rush it. So that, that's not the point of a good game. I want to enjoy it. And let's see, let's get some... Uh, I chance this one. Hmm. I increased my vitality and my damage increased. I am confused. Well, what can I do? Uh, this should be the end of this place. Oh yes. We looked up here. We didn't really explore much up there, so let's do that as well. Okay, I did. Uh, so we have some... And actually I actually have a spell here as well. That is something that's special. You can actually get all the spells. Uh, maybe not all the spells, but most of the spells. Probably all if you have the right uh, equipment for it uh, to raise your magic. You can get spells with a, war, uh, with a fighter. Or is it a warrior? I'm not sure. I think it's fighter. Uh, but the fighter, the rogue, and of course the sorcerer. So that's a sorcerer in this game. He's not. He is not a woman. That's a strange sentence. So you can actually learn that if you have enough magic. And of course, you do not have to keep that magic. You can just let's say we have. What do we have now? Um, that's the right bottom. We have 15. Let's say uh, we find a book that requires uh, 25. Magic, you can actually just equip gear that gives you 10 plus, and uh, that will solve that problem. We're back here, this is yeah, this is the last room here. And man, was this unnecessary! <laughs> oh, I have a skull cap that makes me cool. And this... Is this level 2? I thought it was at level 3, but apparently not. Well, this is not unnecessary anymore. Because this is a quest. Oh yes. But first of all, I will kill these guys and I will actually go to town. And grab some. Maybe a new bow. And uh, first, and especially selling items, that is... Oh my, they are many. You do not want to be surrounded. Because that will end with you being quite dead. Oh, hunter bow. Oh yes. Die, you bastard. There we go. Two to five instead of one to four. Let's get rid of that one. Let's get money with that. This one. Um, 
actually gives me more defense. I'll use that in the meantime. Yeah, I got more damage now. Yes. Oh, yes. Some kind of bosses there. You can see how it lights up. Lights up. Damn it. I'm messing everything up right now. I like zombies. They are slow. I like... It's quite manly to decapitate someone with a bow. Oh, yes. Oh, magic hunter. I have room for that. Now, Believe me, I have room for a magic hunter's bow. Screw that dagger. Let's see, what do I don't need that, I do not need that, I need that. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, yes, I can actually grab this one. So, I think, yeah, we should just take a look up here. Just be certain. Die. Die! Get back here. No? Oh. No, maybe? Yeah, come on, come on. There we go. Skeletons as well. We got uh, a couple here. Which is empty. So nothing of interest here. That's good to know, but. Did we find uh, things that we want to uh, put to use? Uh, let's, let's actually take the Morning Star instead of this no one. Feels like a morning star should be worth more money. Let's just open those barrels, and I got myself some money at least. And let's use town portal. And hopefully, if the graphics do not glitch out completely, you will see one of my favorite loading screens ever. Are you ready? Because it will uh, just blast through, probably. Okay, let's go. It's beautiful. I love it. And back in the days when you had a slow computer, you actually had opportunity to actually really enjoy it for a longer time. As you can see, this is what gave the quest away in the beginning. This is water and it's yellow or brown or, well, vom the color of vomit or something like that. And that is the quest. It's a connection. No, okay, Hello, my problem. friend. I don't Stay a this while store and proceed. At one point of damage, this robe will... That's actually quite nice. And this oh yes, knockback is awesome. Yes, please. Actually, use that one. And this one, one damage is actually quite a lot. And this early, let's sell items here as well. Wow, money. What can I do for you? Let's see what you sell to me here. Is there anything? No, that's really. Oh, I can't really afford it. Oh, nothing there. Just let's put these things here for the moment. I won't bother running over to, uh, to the witch, AJ the witch, and uh, sell them right now. Instead, I will move on. I want to, I think, um, I'll clear this, this, and this will probably be this video. It's um, kinda running away in time. You can actually put the town portal the scrolls here on your uh, right mouse button as well. But I can I let it be there? Let's save. Uh, come on. Uh, dark. To a dark passage. Let's jump down and see what we can find. Well, we find a stair. That's something new. Hello. Die! Die, you bastard! Oh, 30 gold. Okay, we've got Carvers now instead of uh, Javelkin or Fallen Ones or whatever they were called earlier on. Javelkin, that's one of them. And I think our mission here is to kill everything. Let's see if I can bring up a quest. I don't have a quest. Why don't I have a quest? Well, that's alright. Okay, this will be a mess, I would actually save here, because I know what to expect from this place. That is Flesh Clan. Ah! Jai! 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 Oh yes! Bring it, bitch! Yeah, you're messing with me? You're messing with, well, me. I'm getting something drop here, I'm quite sure. Uh, look around. Maybe not. I thought it was some kind of stuff or something like that, but 
Oh, ooh, ooh, there, there it is, short stuff. Am I awesome or what? Listen to the music. Just a little. And uh, it might be a bit loud, I'll see if it is. And you can type in the comments, the comments if it's too loud. But oh, mother of flesh claws that wants to kill me. Come on! Don't be chicken. There we go. This music. Oh! Knockback, yeah! Listen to it. Oh my. This is an eargasm. A lot of stats right now, so let's grab this level I want. Uh, of course, when you put out the points, they're locked. You cannot reverse them. Some more vitality, it's always nice to have some health. And I only have 67 anyway, so. Now we're talking. Enemy in here. I hope it is. And you will see something. I hear something as well. Oh, yes. So we have finished this area, so we have to go out. We cannot run, we can in Hellfire, but only in the city. Not while in the dungeons. And this music, actually, it's. A lot of nostalgia, of course, but I really think it's good. It sets the mood of the game. It really does. And yes, back to level 2, I will actually move up here and I will actually run to um, stairs to level 3 as well. And there we'll put up a town portal and then we'll go to town and then we'll sell crap and then that will probably be at the end of this video. Let's go over there. Run, 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 run. Banana phone. Yes, let's go over here. Let's actually save it. Nothing wrong with saving the game. Not at all. That loading screen. Oh my god, it's beautiful. And later on, we'll actually get. Uh, um, well, it, it's an even more awesome loading screen. And that one. Short stuff of Hello, magic. My friend. Stay a while and listen. Who the hell gives you that quest? Is it P um, Pippin? Maybe it is. Yes. What's that you say? The mere presence of the demons has caused the water to become tainted? Oh, truly a great evil lurks beneath our town. But your perseverance and courage gives us hope. Please, take this ring. Perhaps it will aid you in the destruction oh, yes. of such vile creatures. Oh yes, so we actually get the ring. Ring of Truth. Let's check that out. And if you see, th this is the, how ordinary weapons show up. Uh, down a little down there uh, with the damage and attributes. But unique items have to be identified, apparently. So let's do that. And oh, as you can friend. see, it's indestructible. No attributes required and it's unique. That's all you know. But if you open the inventory, you got a big screen of what it does. And it is really, really nice. 10 more hit points. Um, minus 1 damage from enemies, which means that you take less damage. That is also very good. And some resistance. And if you see here, we have got uh, magic, uh, fire and lightning. Those are the three different magic types. So let's sell items here again. Nope, apparently oh, not. What can I do for you? Buy items then. Uh, no. 
As you can see, a lot of things are the same here. But what happens is, this is um, on the top now. If I play on, this will actually disappear and something new will come at the bottom. And this one will jump up one step. So that how, is how that works. And uh, we have to go to... AJ over here as well. There's actually... Yet, oh, cannot have the map up in town. That's annoying. I actually knew that, but I forgot it as well. And here we go. Adria, I got something for you. No, no, yes. I sense a soul yes. in search of yes. answers. Yes. And all those things I want to keep. So, yeah. Nice and clean. I went through uh, inventory, the, it, it's really small, that's a bit of a problem, but you get used to it. And here we can see the cows, and this is where the rumors started of the cow level, and it, it is widely implemented in Diablo 2, I would see. Uh, the rumor was that if you clicked the cow enough, you will, would open the cow level. And well, if you play Diablo 2, you know, there is one hell of a cow level. Okay, so let's move to the portal here again. Stand right in front of it. And let's take a save. So this will be everything for this part. So later on, of course, there will be more, par more parts. So be patient. And I am Lord Please. If you like my videos, please press the like button. And if you like my channel, please press the subscribe button. And goodbye. <laughs>